Okay, uh, this is part two of me just talking and answering questions that I wrote down. I thought you guys might like to know about me. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm a drink. I get thirsty. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go to the next question, baby girl. What were the years without sleep? Ah, okay. Uh, she said the years I went without sleep. Oh my god, that shit was horrible. I mean, I'd beat somebody up before I wished that on them because that, that was like one of the worst experiences in my life. Torture. It was it's, it's literally pure torture. The only thing I could be thankful for is that Adult Swim was on and I was watching Family Guy most of the time because uh, without that, I'd be sitting there out and went crazy because it was horrible. I mean. My grandpa died when I was 15. I didn't take medicine for sleep until I was about, it was 2008. I think I was about 21 or 22. And uh, that's when I got help and finally started sleeping normally. And that's probably why I was so erratic back then, because I didn't have, I didn't know what was going on. I was all in trouble and always upset and just all jacked up. And uh, somebody at, I forgot somebody noticed that something wasn't right with me, and I didn't realize that too. And so we just went to the to a doctor's office, and they told me I was schizophrenic and had depression, and they. Uh, chronic depression and chronic anxiety and schizo paranoid schizophrenia. I'm paranoid as can be when I be at work. It's torture because uh, my voices, they tell me that people are looking at me and that uh, they're talking to me or talking about me and stuff like that. And it just, so whenever there's like a crowd of people, because I work at a car wash. Whenever there's like a crowd of people, it just uh, freaks me. I can't do it. I just, I, I want to hide behind a car and just don't look at me, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like it. So what, what, what was the topic we was talking about back? What was the question? Oh, we're about to sleep. That's right. But yeah, my mom, she goes through the same thing too. So she knows exactly how I feel without the sleep. She don't know about the other stuff. <clears throat> but she knows about the not sleeping because we both have that problem. And that is like one of the worst things ever. And like I said, I went years without sleep. It was horrible. I wouldn't, like I said, I'll beat your ass before I wish that on you. Mm -mm, that's no good at all. It was no fun. It was very just because when my grandpa died, I cried for about seven or eight months straight. You know how they <clears throat> say there's five stages of grief. I was in that depression stage for a while. And even to this day, I still get a little upset, but I don't, I'm not so, so sad about my grandpa like I used to be. I used to be really sad. I'm sorry if I keep getting on subject, people. That's kind of talking about the same thing. We're talking about why I wasn't sleep and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. What else, man? <clears throat> Suicide thoughts. Hmm? Suicide thoughts. Okay, y'all. Um, geez, that's a good one. Uh, about my uh, <clears throat> suicidal thoughts, uh, my voices rarely tell me to kill myself. Like, they usually tell me to hurt other people. But, uh... My... 
I'm kind of suicidal most of the time because my life is, I just, I'm writing a book and y'all be able to read what's going on with me, but it's just been such a long, rough life. I'm really tired of it and don't worry y'all, I'm not going to go out and kill myself tomorrow or nothing like that. Don't worry about that. It's just, mm, yeah, I have, I have a bad problem with that for 